Hi, I'm Nina Bifolci, and it's been a pleasure to serve the community of Wasaga Beach for the past 12 years, eight as a councillor and the last four as your deputy mayor. I believe a respectful, inclusive and common sense approach to leadership creates a team that truly works in the best interest of our community. The past term of council has been focused mainly on our beachfront and our main street, ignoring the rest of our community. I am committed to supporting Wasaga Distribution staying in the town's ownership, ensuring that the overdue development of facilities such as the arena and a library are a priority, continuing to look at options to meet the needs of all residents regarding affordable housing, working respectfully with the school board, and working with current businesses, landowners and developers to grow their businesses or develop their properties, creating new employment opportunities. I have provided what I believe to be a realistic vision for our beachfront and it can be viewed on my website in its entirety. When dealing with our beachfront, I am committed to ensuring a business plan is developed to eliminate the annual financial losses we currently see. Returning the authority and decision making for this investment to your entire elected council. And seeking opportunities to responsibly redevelop our beachfront in a timely, stable and sustainable manner, not at the expense of the taxpayers. One of the most important things the next council is going to, be, uh, is going to need to do is heal the divide in our community and return confidence in our town hall. I am committed to being an inclusive leader, restoring staff morale and mending strained relationships with other organizations, leading by respecting all residents, staff and my colleagues at the council table, ensuring a fair to all approach for everyone dealing with town hall and advocating for strict adherence to policy, process and provincial legislation. My website continues to be updated with my thoughts on issues, so I encourage you to visit ninabifolci.ca. Our community deserves to have seven independent thinking members of council, and I ask that you keep this in mind when you go to vote. I respectfully request that you elect me, Nina Bifolci, as the next mayor of Wasaga Beach. Thank you. Hello, I'm Mayor Brian Smith, and I'm seeking re-election in this campaign. The Great Beach Fire happened in 2007, and nothing has been done to rebuild. Because of that, tourism, a very big part of our economy, was left to dwindle by over a million visitors a year, putting many of our businesses in a position to struggle or even close their doors. The past council had a pie-in-the-sky developer with a plan for indoor ski hills, and they bought into that plan with little or no checks and balances in place, only to find out that this was nothing more than a fraudulent scam that left our community worse off than ever. The current council has put in place a road map for moving our community forward in an affordable, sustainable and realistic manner. With a world-class developer who has the financial wherewithal to redevelop our beach but also to help us build a downtown proper for all of us to enjoy with shops, entertainment and restaurants every day of the year. We have laid the groundwork for the new arena entertainment complex and the library cultural centre and we plan to start that very soon. Friends, in 2014 I was elected on change with a very, very clear mandate and the majority of this council has worked very hard to deliver the realistic change that you have asked for in that election and we're about to deliver change of the best and biggest this town has ever seen. We purchased the beachfront property so as that you could be in control of our destiny. We have, we have increased tourism by over 500,000 people a year. Most of Council has fought very hard to bring a high school to our community for our children and will continue that fight until the doors open. We will open a municipally run after hours walk-in medical clinic that will open by the end of September. In fact, you may have been hearing that we've spent all the reserves, but the true fact is that this council in this term has added $18 million to our reserves, now putting our reserves at almost $60 million. This has never happened before, and our auditors tell us that we're in great financial shape. Under my leadership, we have done all of this thinking about you today and our future. I have the vision, the leadership skills, and the integrity to get the job done, and I respectfully ask for your support. I will not let you down. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sylvia Bray, and I'm asking for your vote for Deputy Mayor for the Town of Wasaga Beach. 
Many of you may recognize me as I own and operate Grandma's Beach Treats and the Airport Cafe at the Collingwood Airport. I believe in open and transparent government. I fundamentally believe that your voice matters and I will continue to listen to you, the residents and the business owners, to ensure my comments and votes represent your views at the Council table. Each elected official only has one vote and I promise to explain why I vote the way I do on any issue. To be transparent, elected representatives should do more than just conduct votes. They should explain their reasons for voting. I've always believed that we should share that information in real time. Accessibility matters to me and it should matter to all of us. I will continue to advocate to have all our meetings recorded and broadcast to the public in real time. Wasaka Beach is growing rapidly and there's much the next council needs to consider. I'm not against downtown development, however, I do believe in organic growth. We should not support municipal tax dollars being used to build retail spaces that are typically built by developers. I'm excited about developing our beachfront, however I do not think we should start with condos at Beach 2. I would like to see the town owned lands and properties at Beach 1 be our first priority. We need to work with the Simcoe County District School Board to bring the approved new elementary school to town as quickly as possible. As the population continues to grow, we'll soon be on the planning list for a secondary school. I will continue to advocate to ensure that this happens sooner rather than later. I worked hard to ensure we did not sell our local hydro distribution company this term of council, but I'm extremely disappointed in how five members of our council dragged a decision out for months. Our next council will make decisions about a new library, a new double pad arena, and possibly a cultural center. Municipal development must be done in a financially responsible manner to ensure we do not increase taxes beyond what our residents can afford. On October 22nd, I encourage you to vote for free-thinking individuals that represent your values. And I look forward to working with the new team that is elected. I will continue to stand up for what I believe is fair to all, and I look forward to representing all residents at the local and county council as your new Deputy Mayor. My name is Bonnie Smith, and I am running as a candidate for Deputy Mayor at the Town of Wasaga Beach. I respectfully ask for your support to elect me as your Deputy Mayor. It has been an honour to serve you this term as Councillor, and previously as your Economic Development Officer. This is an important time in the history of Wasaga Beach. We need strong leadership at the council table. This is why I am running for deputy mayor. We need a council with members who are ready to continue the positive initiatives, vision and direction that the current council has approved. We are now on a path to make Wasaga Beach a premier destination for residents, visitors, businesses and tourists. With 20 years proven track record, I understand the benefits of visioning and long-term planning. As a town's EDO, I was a key player in attracting the YMCA, big box stores, and many successful franchises. Although some may say these are past accomplishments, aren't we still reaping the benefits today? If I have the privilege to be elected as your deputy mayor, I will continue to address your needs and wants and planning for the future. I have listened to you in the past and I will continue listening to you, only this time as your Deputy Mayor. I will continue to support moving forward with our new downtown and beachfront development in a progressive and sustainable way. Our youth and generations to come are our future. I will continue to advocate for a high school, youth programming, an arena and library in our new community hub. As our population continues to grow, residents, including our seniors, will need access to more services, retail, affordable housing, and long-term care. I will continue to support tourism, our only industry. Having the longest freshwater beach in the world opens a lot of opportunities for residents, businesses, and visitors. The time is now, the opportunity is now, and the future is now. If you want a deputy mayor who has the experience, vision, and integrity to represent you, I'm asking for your support to elect me as your deputy mayor. Let's not go backward. The future is now. One of the greatest rights we have in Canada is to have your say. 
In Ontario, this right is one of the pillars that ensures democracy in our local municipal and school board elections. It gives you the freedom of choice and a voice to your opinions in choosing the municipal and school board representatives in your community. If you are at least 18 years of age, a Canadian citizen, and a resident of or own property in Ontario, you can participate in your local municipal and school board elections this fall. One way to make this process more efficient is to verify that your name is on the preliminary list of electors used to prepare the voters list for election day. You can confirm or update your information conveniently at voterlookup.ca. The process is just three simple steps and should only take you a few minutes to complete. First, fill in your personal details. Next, select the options that best describe your situation. The system will confirm your elector status and or prompt you for additional information if required. And finally, verify and save your information. It's as simple as that. So remember, have your say. Log on today. Good afternoon, my name is Steve Anthony and I'm running to become your, become your counselor. I along with my wife and son's family love Wasega Beach. I'm a past director of the Wasega Beach Snowmobile Club, a volunteer with the Wasega Beach Food Bank and a member of the Wasega Beach Horseshoe Club. I worked for the TTC for 29 and a half years where I was elected and served three terms as a director on the pension board where we were responsible for four billion dollars in funds. I believe that one of our greatest assets in Wasega Beach is our hydro distribution. I along with other concerned residents worked extremely hard to prevent the sales of this, ut this utility. Thus thus possibly saving jobs. In our community, I would encourage citizens to become more involved within their community by providing input as to the direction they would like to see the town proceed with. I would like to see the end of closed door committee meetings. All meetings should be open to the public and council members. I'm in favor of new growth for our town, in particular the need for affordable housing. I question the need for a new arena to be built on Main Street. In speaking with residents, the general feeling was that the Klondike Park site would be a better choice, seeing that we already own the property. A cost analysis of both sites would be necessary to determine the more appropriate site. If elected, I will provide you with accountability, responsibility, and service. I, would, I will be available to you. In closing, I would like to ask for your support. On October the 22nd, vote Steve Anthony for Councillor. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Wasaga Beach Councillor Joe Belanger. And I'm here today to ask for your vote in October to give me the honor and privilege to serve you and our community again for another four years. Many will ask for your vote and have lots to say, but I believe actions speak louder than words. One's track record is a great indicator for future performance. We have made great progress and I am focused on creating positive change and growth in Wasaga Beach. 
working to reduce the burden on residential property tax now at 91 percent and keeping taxes low. Completion of a community hub including a double pad arena, a new library and cultural center, and our downtown and beach one and two developments. Getting a high school our children greatly deserve onto the capital priority list as soon as possible and improving housing options and services. We have currently 99 affordable housing units under construction and room for another 99. We have the implementation of the new comprehensive transit expansion plan and we will soon open an after hours walk-in clinic. My community involvement has been extensive, supporting charities, events, local business and organizations, and I hope you have enjoyed my many Facebook updates and photos. For more information, go to Joe Belang excuse me, go to electjoebelanger.com. Vote for Joe Belanger and I will continue to work hard to finish what we started, to enhance the lives of every resident and to make Wasaga Beach a world-class place to live and a world-class international tourist destination. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Hello, Wasaga. I would like to read the following mission statement from our last council's 2017 operating and capital budget. Council is responsible for the delivery of municipal services to residents, businesses and tourists in a customer friendly, cost effective, creative and environmentally sensitive manner that provides opportunities for all to enjoy family life, earn a living and pursue leisure activities. I believe this to be an accurate summary of a councillor's main obligations. To look after the public purse and make sure your tax dollars are spent wisely. However, that did not happen. Instead, what we have had in the last four years was an endless parade of new bylaws and attempts to make massive changes to our town. For the 2017 budget, virtually every department fell short of its financial goals. The town, by my estimation, has spent almost $6 million on the downtown and CIP plan, but has yet to put a shovel in the ground. A lot of candidates are going to offer all kinds of things in their platform that they may never be able to deliver on. I'm only offering one thing. I will do my best to see that your tax dollars are spent wisely and for the benefit of the entire community. I will do whatever I can to obtain a higher standard of services, maintenance and repairs of existing infrastructure. I will look after your tax dollars like they are my own because some of those dollars are my own. To learn more or contact me, visit my blog at robertbortless.blogspot.com. Thank you for your vote. My name is Jessica Craven. My friends just call me Jess. I'm up for the job as councillor for the town of Wasaga Beach. Constituents have expressed confidence that the experience, passion and strong voice that I have will be needed to work with all level, levels of government in the future. In June 2016, I stepped up and participated in the town of Wasaga's appointment process. I have devoted most of my life to public service and leadership. No one needs any more politics or political gridlock at the decision table. I will be the balance. As a resident of Wasaga Beach since 2009 and someone who grew up in the region, I am passionate about this area and its people. Since 1998, I have worked tirelessly and served in the following leadership roles. The Human Resource Centre for Students through Service Canada. The OPP Marine Unit in Wasaga Beach as the first female student. Queen's Park for the Minister of Community, Family and Children's Services, as well as the Premier of Ontario in his media office. The Member of Parliament for Simcoe Grey representing the federal government. I am proud of the service to the many seniors and constituents across this region that I had the opportunity to serve. The Royal Canadian Legion, My Friend's House and Breaking Down Barriers. The Director of Children's Aid Society working with the FNMI communities. The Wasaga Beach Community Policing Committee, the County of Simcoe Huronia Lookout Committee, the Elizabeth Fry Society and the Innocence Project with Osgood Hall Law School at York University. The CIBC Run for the Cure, Walk a Mile in My Shoes, worked in the hospitality and tourism industry for more than 15 years. 
I have a diploma in law and security, a Bachelor of Arts from the University of Toronto in criminology and women's studies, and I'm currently seeking accreditation as a paralegal. Since an announcing my candidacy, I have been asked to state my position on the priorities of the current administration. For instance, the downtown plan, the high school, tax sustainability, medical center, library, arena, small business and growth, the list goes on. I have not taken a position to date. I will be going door to door across Wasaga Beach to seek the views of residents and businesses. I will be asking what is not being addressed while these priorities are at the forefront. Transparency, democracy, accountability, representative government, anti-oppressive practices, collaboration and justice are at the forefront in every action and choice I make. As a councillor for the town of Wasaga Beach, I will bring heart, a strong voice, keen ears and eyes, knowledge and experience to the table. I have the courage to ask the tough questions. Be heard, because I'm listening. Please reach out to my campaign lines. Say yes to Jess for Wasaga Beach Council. Hello, I am your candidate in the upcoming election for Wasaga Beach. My name is Ron Ego, and I have been elected by the people in the past for the past four years. I would like to say that I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the residents of Wasaga Beach for their support over the past four years, and I would like to think that I would get their support for the next four years as I have a lot of things that I would like to continue to uh, finish. In that time, I would like to say that in last, last election, I promised four things that I would try to do for the residents. And uh, of those four things, I'd like to say that um, I have probably accomplished just about 90% uh, of the four promises that I made. I hope I have your support in the upcoming election. And there's a couple things that I will be working on. One is I worked diligently last election to get free ice skating for all youth in Wasaga Beach as we desperately needed it. Um, we did arrange for free ice skating for everybody at our outdoor rinks, which I thought was very nice and to help the community um, teach children who have the right to learn how to skate. Uh, in this election, I will be fighting for um, free swimming lessons for all the youth and adults because living in a beach community, everybody should have the right and know how to swim. Uh, with that, I think that it will be probably encouraged by council uh, and I will work hard to get that for the residents. Uh, the other thing that I'm really looking forward to is um, there is a lot of properties in, on, in Wasaga Beach that is still under the jurisdiction of the provincial park. These properties have been in the jurisdiction of uh, Wasaga Beach for, oh, I would say now, for, or pardon me, of the provincial park ministry for almost 40 years. In those 40 years, these properties have cost the town of Wasaga Beach millions and millions of dollars. And I think that these properties should be returned to the town of Wasaga Beach so we can generate some tax money that we do deserve from these properties. And it's something that I will diligently work for. And I'm sure that uh, with uh, the help of uh, the MPP, uh, Mr. Jim Wilson, who I've already discussed this with, I'd like to thank you very much, and I hope that you will uh, support me in the next election. Thank you. Hello, and greetings to all the residents of Wasaga Beach, home of the world's longest freshwater beach and the best place to live, work, and play. This election, we're all in this together as we try to continue to prosper and become an even greater Wasaga Beach. I am here today requesting your support in my candidacy for one of the positions of councillor of our great town. I had a slightly different speech prepared for you today, but I've decided to share straight from my heart. As we move forward, I believe the most important question is, what is our vision? This is a discussion that needs to be had with all residents of Wasaga Beach in order to ensure that the next generation truly enjoys an even greater Wasaga Beach and continues to live, work, and play as generations have before. I'm placing my candidacy in this election as a candidate who first listens to the views and opinions of the people and then bases my decisions from there. As your representative, I will be a strong voice for the residents of Wasaga Beach and I encourage all residents to reach out and share their, vo their views, their opinions, their concerns so that I may get a better grasp on what our town wants and is hoping for. My day-to-day -day life is composed of rules, regulations, policies, procedures. I dedicate my life to my family and I take my responsibilities very seriously. 
I'm under constant pressure to ensure that mistakes are never a part of our journey. And as your counselor, I promise to take my responsibilities equally as seriously as I do in my day-to-day -day life. My life is an open book. I love my family, I love my neighbors, and I love our town. I want to be a part of what together Wasaga Beach will become. As residents, we need to remind ourselves that together we are strong, resilient, and we can accomplish anything. Together we can build a future we can all be proud of. Our strength is our passion. And together, not even the sky is the limit. On October 22nd, we are one voice, ultimately one vote, away from a future we can be as proud of as we are our amazing past. On October 22nd, let your voice be heard. Vote Leslie R. Farkas to represent you for the next four years and ensure that your voice, your opinions, and your views are heard. My name is David Foster, and I'm a candidate for councillor in the town of Wasaga Beach. Last night, as I was working on this message, I learned that two of my family members were seriously injured in a traffic accident after spending a few days with us at our home. My priorities are and always will be my family first. We're all praying for the best outcome for all of those who are involved in this incident. I want to thank the emergency responders and the medical community for their heroic work. Please keep all of those affected in your thoughts and prayers. For me, today is about family, not politics. Thank you. Hi, Wasaga Beach. I'm Wendy Fox. 27 years ago, I fell in love with Wasaga Beach. I bought my home here. I made my friends here. I invested here, and I'll retire here. So today I'm here asking for your help to help protect our beach. It's our number one election issue, and our beach is our natural treasure. Let's protect it from overdevelopment and condos and townhouses. But don't think I don't want to do anything with it. Let's just make sure it's public use only and designed for locals in mind to enjoy as well. Big condo developments will only take away our public space and limit our accessibility. Now is the time to save our beach. Secondly, our main street. To build a main street from virtually nothing is a concern to me. Downtowns across Ontario are having to revitalize themselves as shoppers are moving more towards indoor shopping and now online shopping. So let's sell off small parcels of land to allow local builders to create our downtown with no risk to taxpayers. And thirdly, the arena, something close to my heart. I'd like to continue the work of past councils and town staff to bring the arena to Klondike Sports Park. With that comes no expropriation or displacement of families who have summered here for generations. And of course, you can count on me to support keeping our taxes low, staying on budget, our local high school, a walk-in clinic, the Collingwood Hospital, our emergency services, improving roads and infrastructure, referendum technology, affordable housing, creating jobs, and keeping our hydro asset local. So please, don't let your hard-earned tax dollars go to risky mega development projects. We've been burned before. Your money should be used to improve the lives of all who live and vacation here. So Wasaga Beach, thanks for listening. Hi, I'm Mark Kinney and I'm running for one of your five Wasaga Beach Councillor positions at this next coming election. On October 22nd, 2018, the residents of Wasega Beach will have an important uh, choice to make. One that will impact our great town for the next four years and possibly beyond that. I might be new in the political forum, but really I'm not new to the community. My family moved here in 1961 and I've also raised two children here. I've recently retired from the Ontario Provincial Police after approximately 31 years of service. I've been very fortunate during that time to work in the community service section. That allowed me the ability to not only work for the OPP but for my community. I also was fortunate to work with two very community like-minded committees. The Wasega Beach Policing Committee as their liaison for over 10 years and the Wasega Beach uh, Healthy Community Network as a member for over seven years and their chair for one year. Uh, in addition to that, uh, from 2014, I had the ability to, to, to current, to run the uh, annual community wellness fair. I'm running for council because I love Wasega Beach. I think I can make it grow 
in a positive way into the future and a place where individuals want to come and live and raise their families, a place where individuals that already live there want to stay and grow, and a place where uh, retired people will want to come and live. I feel that a safe, healthy community is a community that people want to live in. And if elected, I hope to move towards that. In addition, if elected, I'd like to develop a traffic calming policy uh, and also increase the number of family-orientated special events. Uh, also, move forward with building a new arena and then work with our stakeholders to bring a high school to Wasega Beach as soon as possible. For more information about my election campaign, please visit me on Facebook at Elect Mark Kinney at Wasega Beach Council. And finally, please don't forget to vote and please consider to vote Mark Kinney for one of your councillors in Wasega Beach. Thank you. Hello, my name is James Cobell and I'm seeking your vote to represent you as town councillor for the next four years in Wasega Beach. I decided to run because of uh, some issues with the mismanagement of the town assets, specifically <laughs> um, the uh, hacking of the town server and the, the potential sale of WDI as well as the recent letter of intent to sell Beach Area 2 to Fram for condo developments. We don't need more condos. We need, we need activities in our town. We need a town that's built to represent the, the tourism that's there as well as the ever-growing population which represents young families and re, um, retirees. So we need to build a town with the activities and keep the tourism in the, in the beach area one. Uh, their plan, the downtown development plan which I've reviewed and my experience as a controller at Western Bakeries and doing financial analyst uh, just doesn't make sense. They're planning on taking 2,700 plus parking spots and moving them to uh, beach areas three, four, five, and six, which is going to be, create a tremendous amount of congestion down in that area. We need a high school. We need a high school with a, uh, a high school auditorium, which can also represent the community through community theaters and movies. Uh, we need to twin the double rink ice pad in that area as well and create a, a high school that, that families are going to want to move to Wasega Beach and enjoy for years to come. Uh, again, we need to bring central services to, to Wasega instead of going to all the outlining towns in the area. Um, we need more health care in the, in the downtown areas as well. And Wasega is a long area of, of uh, stretch of land, so we need to represent all of the constituents of Wasega Beach. I support Nina Bifolci, I support Sylvia Bray, and all the other councillors who are running, who have independent thinking. Thank you, and vote in October. Hello, I am Kurt Lehman, a candidate for council in Wasaga Beach. My focus is on the local economy with a determination to bring more services to Wasaga Beach and the development of the creative economy in arts and culture. I am currently a director for the Wasaga Society for the Arts with a goal to bring together and support arts groups and individual artists. We've had meetings with the town staff and mayor in development of the cultural center and are proud to have the support of our local library. I have had the privilege to have an international performing career as a tenor opera singer and welcome the opportunity to give back to our community through the Wasaga Society of the Arts. As a parent, I would like to see the ratings of our local schools improve and I believe if we as parents and school administrators work together, this can be achieved. I have had communications in bringing a high school to Wasaga Beach and addressing these local school ratings. Local businesses need immediate help and I believe we need to address and change the image of Wasaga Beach. The downtown development will address some of these matters and I look forward to supporting these initiatives. I also believe that we could change bylaws and reduce red tape with business friendly objectives. I have 31 years business uh, experience and operate a business in Wasaga Beach which involves working with many of the town departments from planning, building, public works and engineering 
which provides me a better understanding of the running of Town Hall. We need some focus on our town departments so that they can operate efficiently and effectively. I believe as a councillor, I would have this experience to bring to the table. Wasaga Beach is also a boaters community, yet we do not have a public dock, missing out on many opportunities and revenues. I would like to see the expansion of affordable housing options and more services for our seniors. I would like to see a thriving community with a thriving business atmosphere to provide a more enjoyable experience for our locals and our tourists. I have attended many council meetings and addressed members of council in the meetings and by letters. I ask for your support to be a voice in the next term of council. Thank you. Hello, I'm David Matthews and I'm running for the position of council for the position on council in Wasaga Beach. I was raised and educated in Toronto and moved to the beach over 20 years ago with my wife Ilona and I'm a proud father of three adult children. I'm a hard worker, approachable and honest. I believe the councillor's first duty is to represent all the people of the town. I also believe a councillor's job is full time and should be dedicated to helping a strong and vibrant community. After waiting four and a half years of, for our promised new pro provincial health care center, I believe the town should partner up with the province and get it built. This would be an ideal building for a walk-in clinic and for much needed health care services. I support the downtown development. However, I do have a few concerns. I am concerned about the number of condos on the beachfront, the, the amount of land to be expropriated, traffic flow and parking. I would like to propose to the Board of Education the possibility of incorporating our new public library into a new high school to lessen their costs. I would like to see all new development energy efficient and green. Affordable housing is a must. In my opinion, we should have rent to own or the co-op housing type. A new arena should be built, but I believe that if we build it downtown, we should not be expropriating land to do so. I propose a wage freeze on all salaries over $100,000 until such time as an efficiency review can be completed. I think all new buses should be replaced with electric. On April 15th, marijuana will become legal for sale. Communities have been told to plan a place for distribution. Presently, to my knowledge, Council has not discussed this process by which marijuana products can be sold. I personally would like to see it only sold in pharmacies or the LCBO. And I would also like to see very tight guidelines on it. This is only a small part of my platform. It is my hope that you will consider supporting me for a position of, on Wasaga Beach Council. My name is Patrice McCammon and I'm asking for your vote for Wasaga Beach Councillor in the October 22nd municipal election. I have been a full-time resident of the beach for 20 years and my career in business included district manager for the Canadian Federation of Independent Business. After my retirement, I increased my volunteering and fundraising efforts with Rotary, the Food Bank and Wasaga Beach Blues. I was also fundraising chair for Campbell House Hospice. On the strength of these and other accomplishments, I was honored with Citizen of the Year in 2014 and the Order of Wasaga Beach in 2015. The skills acquired through my work life, volunteer commitments and fundraising have positioned me effectively to work with a diverse group of individuals min with minimum friction and maximum productivity. I pride myself on being a nonpartisan thinker and I am ready and willing to work with any government who desires a bright and progressive future for Wasaga Beach. If elected, I have pledged to conduct myself in a professional and reasonable manner and to not let personal differences cloud my judgment in matters of government. I support our current downtown plan and believe in the long-term benefits it will bring to our community. I am also committed to the success of our new walk-in clinic, the funding of and construction of our new library and arena, and the ultimate approval and construction of our high school. My long-term priorities will include studying ways to provide a variety of housing options and enhance transit services. 
Only by working as a united council can we ensure these initiatives come to fruition. I encourage you to visit my website, patricemccammon.com, and leave me a comment or suggestion, or to give me a call anytime at 705-443-0170. I will be happy to discuss concerns or suggestions. Your vote for me will help to ensure that we stay focused on our future. Hi, my name is Dean Robinson, and I'm running for, for Town Council in Wasaga Beach. The reason why I decided to run is because I, I feel that it's time to bring some integrity back into our, into our council itself. We've got our town divided to the point that we have neighbors fighting against neighbors. We have businesses fighting against business. That's got to stop. And the way we're going to do that is work together. We're going to work together as one town, uniting us all so that we can move forward in a, a proper manner. We've got to look at our reserves, make sure our reserves are strong, which they are right now. So we have to keep them that way. When it comes to development, we're all for it. We need to develop in a responsible manner. That means being physically responsible for what we're, what we're spending and how we're going about getting the developers to come in. My next issue that I'd really like to talk about at this time is affordable housing. We have an issue. Our issue is we have young, young families that have no jobs. There's no jobs in Wasaga Beach, so we have to bring them there. Without those jobs, we can't afford to move forward. We need to give them jobs. We need to give them reasonable, responsible places for them to live. Right now, as stands, we have them living in the, uh, the cottage courts, the motels. It's all they can afford. Those motels and those cottage courts are not safe. They're not safe for a long-term residency. Some of these people are living in these, in these cottage courts. They have no fridge. They have no stove, no proper cooking areas. This means it's a safety issue. We are going to have fires, and unless we can fix that, if we can get the bylaws to actually control the issues of these places, we're going to have some casualties. I'd like to get that fixed. The sooner the better. As far as the development goes on the, uh, sorry, uh, as far as the development goes on, on the beachfront, again, there's many other properties out there. We have a huge development uh, process happening right now in Wasaga Beach. It's not necessary to move forward with that. Let's move forward with creating the beach that we're used to, a beach where the families come, play, and tell their friends come and play. Until that time happens, I'll keep running for Wasaga Beach Council. Thank you very much. I hope that I get your vote. Again, my name is Dean Robinson. I'm voting for, or I'm sorry, I'm running for council in Wasaga Beach, Ontario. I hope I get your vote. Aloha fellow Wasagans. My name is Alexander Stone and I'm running for town council of our unique community. There are several important issues our town faces, but none more dire than our housing crisis. Wasaga Beach for some has become a very expensive game of musical chairs in terms of housing. Every winter, Many residents are forced to take refuge in overpriced motels and unwinterized cottages if they, can, if they cannot find suitable accommodations elsewhere. Come summertime, these residents are forced out of these accommodations to make room for tourists and tourist dollars, which leaves these residents vulnerable and scrambling for, to find whatever they can, which in worst case scenarios has ended up with people living in the bush. This is unacceptable for a town as well off as we are. Uh, this particular situation only represents one factor in the larger picture of our affordable housing crisis. There is a growing contingent of Wasagans who support more bold efforts to remedy this crisis. My proposal is to develop a tiny homes community which offers rent-to-own units to those who qualify. This would give our most vulnerable residents an opportunity to gain equity improve their situation and have the kind of stability that the rest of residents enjoy regularly. With this effort we can begin to make real progress and better the lives of our most vulnerable neighbors. A positive and necessary step forwards. Beyond the housing crisis, residents have many concerns. There is a need for new job opportunities or better yet for new career opportunities. Residents have demanded a high school, more medical facilities, and generally more fun and engaging town events, especially come winter time. I believe that I have the energy, determination, intelligence, and heart to help lead Starship with Sega into the future. Vote Alexander Stone in October if you believe in such a future. I am George Watson, candidate for councillor in Wasaga Beach. 
as a full-time resident, business owner, community volunteer, and having raised my family in Wasaga Beach for five decades, I have significant knowledge of our community. I previously served on Wasaga Beach Council for three terms over 11 years, sitting on numerous municipal committees. During those years, all the current major commercial growth was constructed at e each end of town, plus the YMCA Recplex, a dedicated youth centre, creation of our transit system and successful doctor and medical recruitment. While Wasaga Tourism is an important economic component, we are much more than that, having developed into a vibrant, diversified community under the stewardship of previous councils. I embrace local change and growth, believing we must respect and engage all Wasaga Beach residents. The incoming council must supply a more engaged consultation with the community about the unanswered infrastructure questions of costs and outstanding concerns regarding the different components of the FRAM development, including the clustering of civic buildings. Given the stated price tag of hundreds of millions of dollars, Wasaga residents deserve crystal clear answers. I support a high school in Wasaga Beach as I have advocated since 2001. Expansion of local trail, bike trail and bike lane initiatives. Tax increases in line with inflation, a plan to aggressively market Wasaga Beach as a four-season destination, a return to a get-back-to-business approach to attract commercial investment and construction, live streaming of meetings and simplifying of agendas, promotion of the West End Business Park overlooked by current council, development of mixed housing including affordable options, a return to a respectful atmosphere at the council table a review of current Wasaga Beach boards and committees, and retaining Wasaga distribution. Vote George Watson for Wasaga Beach Councillor. Check my website at watsoncouncil.com to view my platform to volunteer or donate or ask questions. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Stan Wells and I'm seeking your vote for the position of Councillor in the upcoming Wasaga Beach election. I and my wife Betty have been permanent residents of Wasaga Beach for over 40 years. I have a unique perspective of our town and the needs of our differing age groups as I have three of our four adult children and their spouses living here, working here, or owning a business here. And I have two grandchildren, soon to be three, and the two attend elementary school here in Wasaga Beach. I previously served as a counselor in Wasaga Beach from 2003 to 2014. I have over 30 years experience as a principal, a teacher, and a supervisory officer with the Simcoe County District School Board and the Provincial Ministry of Education, and 12 years as a teacher and principal at Worsley Elementary School. I have a commitment to personal integrity, compassion, accountability, and a collaborative, cooperative, agree to disagree agreeably, common sense approach to decision making and problem solving. I believe we must continue to create a complete, safe, sustainable, and livable community and a town where young families can grow and retirees can enjoy the benefits of their working years. We must maintain balance between wants and needs and between vision and realistic goals while recognizing that continuing growth will require new services, new facilities and new work and leisure opportunities. I believe we are a town with a tourism industry, not just a tourist town, and we must first focus our energies and our resources on our permanent and seasonal residents and businesses from all parts of our town, while promoting tourism as a significant part of our economic health. While growth is inevitable and desirable, I think it is important to maintain the unique lifestyle of our town and the lifestyle that for years has attracted new residents rather than pursue a city image. We must balance growth and development with the protection and preservation of our lifestyle and our natural and environmental resources. You can find my full platform and my contact information on my website at www.stanwells2018.ca. Thank you for your support. Hello, I'm Richard White, candidate for councillor in Wasaga Beach. As part of your council, I want to create a complete community, a place to grow for everyone. Since the last election, I have been a committee member on both the Wasaga Beach Blues and Wasaga Beach Short Film Festivals. Working with these two events has shown me the troubles in raising funds as well as highlighted the different types of tourists that we attract in our town. 
I am currently the Vice Chair of the Wasaga Beach High School Task Force. It is truly an honor to work with a group of residents that are passionate about bringing a high school to Wasaga Beach. When elected, I hope to continue this work. Collaborating with the board to build a business case for a high school in Wasaga Beach will have a huge impact on our town and our future. As a senior manager at one of Canada's largest and most successful food companies, I have experience in working with and respecting differing opinions. I believe in debating the facts that lead to great decisions. And I promise to advocate for my beliefs, but no matter the outcome, I will be sure to get behind the decisions of council and help make them a success. You deserve that. As a father and resident in Wasaga Beach, I understand the struggles that families have when accessing services. I would like to be their voice on council a voice that reflects the needs of families while balancing the needs of business and tourists. Building the amenities that will help us grow our local economy will increase the products and services available to our residents and to our tourists. I support the town's plan to build an arena, a library, and lodging options in the core. And I will work cohesively with Council to build a livable downtown that will grow our businesses and put an end to the feast or famine cycle that these businesses face every day. My mission as a councillor is to grow our economy, keep taxes at or lower than inflation, and increase access to services such as transit and taxis. I am the change we need, the voice we deserve. On October 22nd, elect Richard White Councillor Wasaga Beach or check out richardwhite.ca. Thank you. One of the greatest rights we have in Canada is to have your say. In Ontario, this right is one of the pillars that ensures democracy in our local municipal and school board elections. It gives you the freedom of choice and a voice to your opinions in choosing the municipal and school board representatives in your community. If you are at least 18 years of age, a Canadian citizen and a resident of or own property in Ontario, you can participate in your local municipal and school board elections this fall. One way to make this process more efficient is to verify that your name is on the preliminary list of electors used to prepare the voters list for election day. You can confirm or update your information conveniently at voterlookup.ca. The process is just three simple steps and should only take you a few minutes to complete. First, fill in your personal details. Next, select the options that best describe your situation. The system will confirm your elector status and or prompt you for additional information if required. And finally, verify and save your information. It's as simple as that. So remember, have your say. Log on today.